How's it going everyone? So we got another greenhouse tour and yes, it is cold out and I asked for it. Now we can do some true tests on this greenhouse. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna last long. They're saying by Christmas, well, time you see this, that whole week is gonna be warm for us again. So up in the 40s they're saying even, which is just crazy. But whatever, whatever works. Yeah. Let's go take a look. So it's 38, yep, 38 degrees in here. There is frost on everything. The sun is trying to peek out right now. So we're gonna uncover everything, but then we're probably gonna cover it up right away again. Um, but I do wanna tell you guys that the other night, uh, Minnesota did get a freeze a couple nights ago, a really hard one, and it got down to 12 degrees, the lowest it got outside at our house. And this hoop over here that's heated got down to 30, it was 34 I believe, or 35, I think it was 34. And so that's a really good plus, but then the days after it, so yesterday and today, it wasn't sunny. So the temperature last night was down to 15 degrees and this got down to 32. So I'm gonna change the heating and I'm gonna have it for four hours in the night, in the middle of the night, and just run for four hours straight, rather than going a half hour off or half, or I might do it like an hour and then a half hour off, and then do another hour and then a half hour off, because I wanna make sure the soil's getting warm enough and keeping everything warm. But I think if we bury it deeper, it also will help, so we'll plan on that for next year. Yeah, all trial and error this year. If you're new to our channel, this is our first year with our greenhouse, our hoop house, that Matt so lovingly built um, with somewhat of my help <laughs> <laughs> and a little bit from the kids yeah. um but yeah so it's all trial and error so let's show you how it's doing so let's open them up so we have an issue <laughs> remember that mole that came in and created tunnels well there's something that's about this big with a tail that'll follow those tunnels and use them as their homes. Yep. Can you guess it? We got mice. So we got the tunnels open back up again and I'm finding little dig marks on the top of the soil. So I'm gonna have to bring out a mouse trap. Yeah. Yuck. I just, I hate that there's mice by our food, even though it's out, like, we're outside. Mm -hmm. I just forget that. <laughs> so my pet peeve is like, when you find a mouse, like we're in the country, so even growing up, we there's occasional mouse in the house. But I hate the mouse in the house because of the fact, mice, when they walk, if you didn't know this, they pee a little bit as they walk. And they do that, that's how hawks and eagles can find them, because they can see the pee trail. So I, just don't care for mice. <laughs> so I'm definitely gonna set some traps out. We need to take care of those and get them out of here. And then hopefully it'll be a quick fix and keep plugging these holes and hopefully they stay out. Yeah, we're still getting lots of food. It's not like they're eating all our food out of here that I've, I haven't even really noticed if they were making an impact. Yeah, I that. think they're just eating the sprouts of things it looks mm -hmm. like from their little digging seeds. and the seeds, yeah. Yep. So we'll take care of them. <laughs> so onions are still growing like crazy it's really i am shocked I, I really can't believe it it's awesome super happy about it i am hoping that by spring when we want to plant other plants in here we can pull these and we have some really big onions and the other thing we're going to do is the week it's going to get warm which they're saying around christmas into the 40s i want the weather to be really nice and warm when i do this but i'm going to give some fish fertilizer in here and I'm gonna make sure I take care of the mice first because I don't want to attract all that. But I'm gonna put fish fertilizer in here for um, nitrogen, and then this should really help the onions grow and pop more. So, excited about that, they're doing really good. I like how everything's staying nice and moist in here, and everything's looking really good. I'm very happy with it. So as you saw in the last video, Sarah pulled some carrots. We're not gonna pull any today. We're gonna leave these go, but they are doing good, and 
we are gonna grow next year we want to grow a lot more so we're kind of we just were actually planning out our beds for next year towards the fall on what we're gonna do on this bed and what we're gonna do on this bed because we want to uh, make everything really nice and tight and fulfilled and don't leave any bare spots is like this year we were a little behind on it but this was also our first year trying things out and didn't know exactly how we wanted to do it and we didn't know how this was going to carry through the summer so we want to have a section of carrots abundance of them and we're going to do i think another section probably in the garden and let them grow until the winter so our peppers we realized after our last video that some of you are new to our channel so welcome um our peppers these are actually our pepper plants from last season so we put the hoop house up it was built this last spring um, our business was slow and we had actually planned on building it this fall but we had extra time on our hands so we went ahead and we built the greenhouse then which is about when we planted these peppers in here these pepper plants did well we got some peppers off them not huge peppers but some and these are what's left we cut down the stalks and our original plan was we hoped we could let these kind of go dormant for the winter and then in the spring let them grow back up because if you didn't know it a pepper can grow for quite a few years continuously if it has the right environment so we're kind of hoping to see if we could get them to come back and the theory behind that is that that way we can get earlier peppers. These are our bell pepper plants. Here in Minnesota, green bell peppers are fine and great and dandy, but it's really hard for us to get red bell peppers, colored peppers, they just don't ever get that far usually. So we're hoping that maybe we could get an earlier crop by doing this. The unfortunate thing is that all the pepper plants have mold on them. I think between the condensation, the heat in the ground, just kind of, it's making the perfect environment for mold. So thanks to some of our viewers, you suggested spraying these down with hydrogen peroxide and water, kind of like a 50-50 mix. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give that a try and we will see and let you know how that's going. Since we just got that feedback, we haven't done it yet, but we'll let you know. Lots of carrots coming up here and then our radishes are still going strong. Um, they're doing really well. Some of these didn't form the greatest of bulbs, but the ones that did were actually leaving in here for a couple more days because they happen to be one of my grandma's favorites is fresh radishes from the garden. So we're gonna surprise her for Christmas and bring her some radishes. <laughs> so this year we planted only carrots in our greenhouse and I ordered Paris market carrots, which were a short stubby carrot and the reason I had picked those is because every year I would go to dig up carrots from the garden and they would be just rock hard in the garden and I was using a shovel and I was breaking off carrots and it was just not a great experience so I thought if I got the shorter ones they'd be easier to pull right and what turned what ended up happening was they're short carrots and we didn't get many carrots out of them which was a bummer so we planted a lot of variety of different carrots right here Guess what the mouse ate? I don't see a single carrot sprout left. So this was just kind of a variety of different large carrots. So it's super disappointing to see that those are basically gone. So what's funny is the mouse didn't do nothing to the Paris Mark carrots, just ate the ones we actually wanted to grow. I don't know why it doesn't like those, but it destroyed these. <laughs> So these peppers are actually doing pretty good. They don't have too much mold, only a very little bit actually on them. So hopefully these do turn around and come back. The radishes are jamming so far. Definitely have to take care of that mouse. He's been down here or she, whatever it is, and I will catch it. And the carrots down here are just neutral. They're just stunted. They're not growing. No more greens, nothing. They started to right when we put this heat tape in and then it's like nada. So, I don't know. See if they turn out by the spring. I don't know if you can tell, but we did go through and thin the celery a little bit. And these stalks that were getting hardy, they still are. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's ice. <laughs> so the celery is doing well. The ones that are kind of hardy are hardy. And then these little tinier ones, they're just kind of dying off and... Um, withering away on their own. Natural selection at its finest. So as you can tell, this lettuce, we've been eating it a lot. We're approaching our shortest day of the year. And after that, things are turning around and they'll start going up. 
as our days get a little bit longer so hopefully our lettuce will be growing a little bit more and as you can see our lettuce we planted more recently is all coming in. So one of my favorites is this spinach, the Northfolk spinach, because we saved the seeds on it. So this is our first time, like, legit planting our seeds. So that's pretty cool. It's coming up, doing very good. And I'm still shocked on how, how well this other spinach is doing that we have and how much we're cutting off it and eating it. It is crazy amount. So this is giving us a really good idea as how much we need to plant for next year and I'm also kicking around the idea of planting our own kale just to cook it into things because I do not like kale and no one else in the family does like kale so but a lot of people say by putting in eggs and everything or cooking it it tastes a lot better and if you grow it yourself compared to the grocery store so I'm curious how that'd be because growing our own spinach it's a big difference from the grocery store so as is everything else so that's why we're just gonna keep trying new things, and I'm just shocked on how well this stuff is really doing. So, traps are set, hopefully, I find something fun in there tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully it's just taken care of. <laughs> Hopefully get it out of here so that's done with and our food will be good and that's it. Other than that, I'm really impressed with everything so far. So mm -hmm. yeah. We haven't gotten that uh, electric bill yet though. No, we haven't, <laughs> but and we can't even wait. We can't even go out for this month because I'm gonna have a video on it, but I just ordered parts. My garage heater went out the thermostat. So we went in there and it was 78 degrees in my garage. Yeah, it was hot. So that, needless to say, is gonna run my electric bill up because that's on off-peak electric. So yeah, that's gonna be a nice bill. You know, thankfully we've been running the wood stove full bore, full, what's the word? Bore. Full bore. Full, full bore. bore. Full born, full, <laughs> full born, full everything. We've been running the wood stove nonstop. Yeah, and that's been nice. And years past, you know, so we've always been so busy where you really can't do much. And this year we're blessed because we are really busy, but we're not nearly as busy as what we were last year. And I'm kind of glad because if we were that busy, we definitely wouldn't be doing this, talking to you guys or that that little lens right there but you know it's and we like doing these and we like doing this with the greenhouse and experimenting and, and trying different things so we're really blessed for that and what I'm trying to get at is I'm excited because this year will be my first year where I can cut wood for the next year and we don't have to worry about buying it so I'm gonna stockpile wood if it stays the way it is so yeah gives you more okay. time too yeah. I always got to look on the bright th side of things. <laughs> There's a lot of crazy going on this year and yeah, looking at the bless looking at the blessings has been really important. Yeah. Yeah, you have to look at the blessings. All right, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and share it to your friends. Glad you got to see us again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> well, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to say leave a comment. <laughs> We'll do both. Give it a thumbs up, leave a or comment. Thumbs down? I don't know. Yeah, thumbs down. <laughs> oh, Still a long not day. getting much sleep. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. What'd you say? What'd you say?